Today we're gonna to talk about where not to sleep when you're in the forest. What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Today we're gonna to talk about three natural features that you may find in the forest that you think is a good idea to utilize during your shelter setup, but they're not. So one eye appealing feature when it comes to shelter building are downed trees. This thing looks absolutely amazing to build a shelter off of being again, natural or tarp built. We think, hey, we have this big heavy duty ridge line, we can kick everything off the sides or we can take sticks and pile it up to make a really easy, quick shelter. We don't have to mess with anything else. The reality with downed trees though is that they can be extremely dangerous. There are hundreds of pounds of weight hanging above your head. That tree obviously fell for some reason, typically because they're dead. Of course, there can be a, a ton of other reasons, but a dead tree is starting to rot, it can crack, and if you're setting up a shelter and the weather gets bad, we're looking at the possibility of that tree breaking or falling even further to the ground. You being under it is a terrible idea. So I highly recommend, although this looks super cool and you think you can get a cool Instagram shot with this, it is not realistic. I would definitely stay away from downed trees as part of your shelter setup. Number two are low lying areas such as where I am currently standing. Now with that low area, which I've seen happen numerous times in different classes, individuals think, hey, if I get down in that lower area, I'm a little bit more protected from the wind, I'm gonna set my shelter up, I have a lot more height up over my head with my shelter or I can even lay sticks across that if it's narrow enough and I can build a roof over it and crawl inside. But as many of you are probably already guessing, that low area is going to collect water faster than anywhere else in the forest. You sleeping or sitting in your shelter and it flooding out with water is an absolutely horrific scenario that you never want to get yourself into. So although it might seem super tempting to find a low area like that, I again highly recommend you stay away from it. And number three, probably the coolest land feature you see that immediately attracts you to want to hang out next to it are big uprooted trees. So although this looks like a big mound of dirt behind me, it's actually the roots of a tree that flipped itself over, okay? Um, so this in the wintertime, I can tell you because I come through this area a lot, provides great cover from wind. And the wind actually blows from behind me towards the camera. So if I come here and I sit there, man, it blocks the wind, great. But as far as a shelter and setting it up there, horrible idea. Number one reason is we need to think why are the trees up rooted to begin with. The general reason for that is because the ground is very moist and wet. The ground can't support the root structure and weight of the tree, therefore the tree just falls over in high winds and bad weather. Number one, we're, we don't want to sleep in wet ground and this obviously then is wet ground. Secondly, once this goes over, it leaves a divot in the ground, which we just talked about. We want to make sure that we're not sleeping somewhere that's going to fill up with water. During rainstorm in the summer months, um, if you come here, this whole bottom section of this is nothing but one big puddle. What I can say about these cool uprooted trees is number one, if it's just during the day you're going to make a quick fire and you're blocking yourself from the wind, go ahead, go for it. They're cool. You get cool photos by it and all that good stuff. But as far as it goes with shelter set up next to these things, definitely a no. The other thing you need to realize also with uprooted trees when you see them is if there is one, there's probably more. So if you look behind me in this area right here, we have a whole bunch of uprooted trees. If you turn and you look this way, more uprooted trees back here. So that gives us a real quick down and dirty indication that this entire area gets wet, there's a lot of mud on the ground, and that there are trees falling during bad weather. So this is something that if you would see, although it looks like a paradise for shelters and shelter building, I would highly recommend getting out of this area, moving to higher ground, and getting away from all these death branches falling. 
So there you go, there are the three tips I'm gonna give you today for setting up your shelters, be it a tarp or a naturally constructed shelter. Very simplistic things, but things that if you don't recall in your mind every so often, you might forget about or not look around and think about when you get in one of those situations that you decide it's late or it's starting to rain or the wind's blowing like crazy and I wanna get something set up and be done for the night. Take this into consideration. It's gonna keep you that much safer and your trip that much more enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a good time walking around the woods today. I'm gonna to do a little bit more walking around now. Um, but in the interim, you can go down and click that subscribe button. You can also check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes and our merchandise and all the cool stuff we have on there. And then uh, I think that's about it. Um, I just need you to stay in the woods and that's it. Just stay in the woods.